Lori here today with my weekly wax basket. If you watched yesterday's empties video, which I hope you did, <laughs> you will note that we are going to be highlighting VCS or Vintage Chic Scents this week. And so I pulled all of the scents from there. We will do some scents in here, continuing to work through my giant <laughs> sample stash in here and some in the bathroom maybe a little bit this week as well. So yeah, I don't think I have as many bathroom scents from VCS. I have a couple, so you'll see those as we go through. I do have some candles that I pulled out as well. I do have one in my kitchen as well on my hot plate, and that is an apple candle from Aldi. It was not burning particularly well because the jar is a very weird shape. You'll see that when it comes in my empties next weekend because I'm sure it'll be done by then. It's a really nice apple fragrance, but it was not burning. <laughs> actually hardly at all it had like the puny wick syndrome and yeah it was crazy so it went on the hot plate and we're enjoying it that way so i have a couple of candles that i've been working on one is a lot more burned than the other i think you remember this did we highlight this last week we might have midnight snack from kohl's it's a sonoma brand so you can see i have worked my way through these last a very long time i've burned this quite a few times this is sugar, berries, and sprinkles. It's 14 ounces, but I'm telling you this, they just kind of take their, their time. I would say it's maybe a four, a four or five out of 10 for throw. So it's not very strong. It's more of an ambiance type of candle, but I like it. I mean, if you get whiffs of it, which could be my air conditioning, it has been sweltering here. And so the air conditioning is running <laughs> 24 seven. But yeah, so I mean, if you get whiffs of it, it's very pleasant and it's been burning pretty well. I get, I see a little bit of discoloration in the wax now, but I've been really pleased with it so far. So we've enjoyed that. And then it felt like the appropriate time <laughs> to burn the summer boardwalk. I just started this one. I think I only did one burn on this so far. The scent notes on this are gla caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. So there we go. It felt like the perfect week to, week to do that. It's like <laughs> carnival times and everything here in Michigan. So yeah, that felt perfect to do. So like I said, there aren't a lot of scents from VCS that I would consider like bathroom scents, but I have a couple that I pulled out that I want to use. This one I've already started using. It's Moira's Wigs, Matrix, Biolage type, Vanilla Lace, and a sprig of Spearmint. I don't know if I have any more of this left, but I really enjoy it. So that will be good for the bathroom. I love Biolage in the bathroom. And this is Height Ashberry. It's Nag Champa. Very, very pretty, like incense type of scent. And this one is a little bit different than what I typically do, but this is like a very bright lemon to me. It's La <laughs> Is that how you say it? I can't speak French. It says, You know what you did. So enjoy this gin and tonic blend with Lauren Heidi. Adrena and Lowe at the best nightclub in LA. So there we go. Then I have some scents for my bedroom. I had started this one, so I thought we might as well pull it. When the party's over, agave lime, rainforest leaves, an explosion of citrus. We have Teenage Dream, which is strawberry tangerine fizz. Love those clouds, those are so cute. And her roses are adorable as well. We have the Chicago Outfit Juicy Blackberry and Mango Infused Ginger Ale. And this True Blood Blood Orange Strawberry Fizzy Pop. This smells so good. I love the shapes on this. Absolutely perfect. So I do not have a lot of coffee from VCS, which was a little surprising. So we might have to fill in because this is the only scent that I found in my coffee drawer that I still have. So I have melted through some coffee scents from them, but I'm going to need to stock up on some more coffee from Kirby. We have espresso Jackie O vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows and espresso be beans. I'm throwing it. <laughs> I just received an order from her. I will be filming that and put that up this week sometime for you. And I did buy another one, but I need to look for more coffee blends from her because this is pretty much all I have. I have three souffles of this now, I believe. So I will probably fill in. The following week is gonna be a couple, not just one vendor. We're gonna do a combination of a few vendors. So I'm probably gonna get a head start on those since I have more of those in the term in terms of coffee. 
Okay, so we have a few of these cute unicorn shapes. This is You Drive Me Crazy, fresh cherry lemonade topped with a scoop of lime sherbet, right? I was thinking sorbet. I don't know why I wanted to say sorbet. So I have two of those. We'll see when I cut them up if I need both or just one, but I pulled them both just in case. And My Loneliness Ain't Killing Me No More, Mango Coconut Cooler Swirled with Island Coconut Cream. I'm pretty much getting down to the end of <laughs> wanting to melt summer scents. I pulled a fall candle, first fall candle. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think that my first fall candle is going to be. I'll give you a hint. It came out last year as well, so it might not be what you're thinking came out last year as well and it's back this year. They just had it in the sale that's going on this weekend. So I think today is the last day for the sale price on the candles. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think my first <laughs> official fall candle. I mean, some people think summer boardwalk, you know, it's like an end, it's like a transition candle, but I would consider the one that I'm gonna start burning to be my first fall candle. So we'll see that, okay. So this is B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This blank is bananas, banana caramel cupcakes, banana crepes, and banana nut bread. Love banana scents. So next is apple cinnamon ice cream man, sweet vanilla ice cream topped with cinnamon apples, crushed waffle cones, and vanilla wafers. So try to do a mix if I don't feel like certain scents. I don't know, but these are amazing. I do need to rebag them. You guys know how I feel about these bakery bags. I never feel like they close right, so I'll rebag them. But this is a Nets Beach Party Punch Fruit Punch blend of orange, strawberry, pineapple, and pistachio. Then we have another one here. This is like really stuffed. Juliet is the, is the Sun, Backwoods Barbie, and Princess of Monaco, which is Satsuma Strawberry Cotton Candy, Tangerine, Orange Sherbet, Whipped Cream, and Lemon Curve Marshmallow. So this I had rebagged. This was in a bakery bag and I've used some of this. This is Young and Beautiful, Grape Gummy Bears, Grape Kool-Aid, and Grape Airheads. So lots of <laughs> grape deliciousness. You guys know I'm on a grape kit. We have another one. I was trying to pull all of these. I don't know if I did, but I tried to pull the majority of these blossom. Is, it, is that what they're called? Blossom bags? Something like that. This is Bert and Ernie, Satsuma, Blueberry, and Lemon Lime Fizz topped with Orange Whip to still be hot here so it's like I'm trying to balance my wanting of you know burning and melting fall sets with the fact that it's like 85 degrees with what feels like 100% <laughs> so it's like ah okay so Betty Page Satsuma Blonde Moment and Vanilla Bean Noel we have here I have a strawberry peach cotton candy frosting we are never, ever getting back together. Satsuma, blackberry, cotton candy. Love these shapes. I love the ice cream scoops. They're just so cute. Okay, we have lemon coconut butter cake. And another one of these blossom bags. Backwood, Backwoods Barbie, we are never getting back together. And Simba, which is Satsuma strawberry cotton candy, blackberry Satsuma cotton candy frosting, and tangerine gelato. So lots of fun, <laughs> fun, fruity, what my son would say, fizziness. Let me unpack these. Okay, so I have a couple of loaves here. I don't know if I will cut these. We'll see how we feel, but I wanted to pull them. This is from January. It's here's the list, check it twice. Zucchini bread, sugar cookies, chestnuts, and brown sugar, gooey batter, and fresh rolled dough. So yeah, I mean, that just screams like fall winter bakery so i don't know if i will use it yet but i might shop them and then same with this stand by me amish friendship bread topped with blueberry jam her blueberry is amazing and then i have a couple of chopped loaves this i got in that d stash this was a 2018 nelly rose strawberry donut vanilla glaze i think this is the last of my items from that d stash so this will be a priority to use since it's from 2018, I want to make sure I use it up as it's, you know, it's kind of, it doesn't last as long. You can sell, smell the fragrance, but it definitely doesn't last as long as some of her current wax. So we have Fold in the Cheese, cream cheese danishes with cherry filling and dusted with graham cracker crumbles. 
I have pink chiffon Jackie O, rich vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows and pink chiffon. We have, oops, I did it again. I have two of these unicorn heads, blackberry cobbler topped with whipped cream. So those are there. And kissing booth, strawberry sweet cream and rich vanilla cupcakes. All right, and then I will probably use this in my bathroom, so I need to put this in with the bathroom melts. Hotel California, such a lovely blend of vanilla lace and so white type. This is not my favorite, I have to say, so I may end up mixing it. This was not what I expected it was going to be. <laughs> so I might mix it. It's not bad mixed, actually. I did mix it with something else. It was quite lovely. So we'll try. We might do some mixology with that one. I'm certainly not going to let it go to waste, so we'll see what we end up coming up with to mix it with. We have Cookie Monster, Magnolia Bakery, and Cream Cheese Frosting, Doughy Sugar Cookies topped with a buttercream frosting and icy milk, rolled dough, gooey batter, cream cheese frosting, like you just walked into a bakery. I love her Cookie Monster. I do have <laughs> a loaf that I chopped, so here's this just Cookie Monster by itself. Doughy Sugar Cookies with buttercream frosting dipped in icy sweet milk. So I did pull this to use. Yes, I know her wax is hard. So unless you really kind of <laughs> microwave it super well and get it nice and yeah, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> My pieces of VCS are all kind of just chopped pieces and whatever. So, all right, we have Rosebud Motel, cinnamon buns and blueberry muffins with coffee and extra whipped cream. We had milk glass, wild berry cake batter and sugar milk. And I have Lydia's sugar cookie dough bakery. So vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, sugar cookie dough and bakery goodness. Then I have two more giant. <laughs> so I just chopped this loaf poorly of beetle mania, sweet blue raspberry, strawberry slushy and blue cotton candy. So that, it smells amazing, so good. And then, this, I mean, look at this thing. It is so heavy. <laughs> when I ordered this, I had no idea how huge this was. And it is Pin Curls and Finger Waves. Pink sugar type blended with fluffy marshmallows. You guys know how much I love pink sugar. And this is amazing. So we're going to melt this. I will probably do some mixology with this as well. Maybe with some fall scents, like some heavy cinnamon. To kind of sweeten them up and tone them down. Since I have so much of this. I was like, oh my gosh. So we will try some mixology, but yeah, I want to cut that poorly <laughs> and make it look terrible. No, but um, get it ready to be used so I can start pulling out some fall scent. So that is my basket for the week. I think I have a lot, I mean, there's a lot of, I have a lot of fruity blends from her. I love her Satsuma. It is so good. So I tend to buy a lot of those types of blends and yeah, her Cookie Monster blends, she does grape really, really well. There are so many good scents from VCS. I did, like I said, you sh should see a haul coming up this week if everything goes as planned. Kind of a busy week coming up, but I think I can get that up for you guys. I want to show you what I picked up because it is fall. <laughs> it is my version of fall. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.